We are now moving directly into the field of Vedic agriculture, and it is now a great joy to welcome Dr. John Fagan, who is a leading authority on sustainability in food and agricultural systems and in biosafety and food authenticity. He's a successful entrepreneur in the field of biotechnology, having founded, built, and sold Global ID Group, a pioneering company developing innovative molecular biological tools to verify and advance food purity, safety, and sustainability. Dr. Fagan earned his PhD in molecular biology, biochemistry, and cell biology from Cornell University, and he has <clears throat> done biomedical research and examined molecular mechanisms in carcinogenesis and assessed the cellular and gene regulatory impacts of environmental toxicants such as dioxins and PCBs. His research has been published in leading scientific journals, 45 papers, and has been supported by millions of dollars in grant awards, including the prestigious National Institutes of Health Research Career Development Award. Dr. Fagan serves as Executive Director of the Earth Open Source Institute, which is a nonprofit advancing the environmental sustainability and social responsibility of the food and agricultural system where he conducts research and manages agricultural development projects on four continents. In addition, Dr. Fagan is Professor of Molecular Biology at Mahashi University of Management, USA, as well as an International Administrator, Araja, and Minister of Agriculture of the Global Country of World Peace. And he serves as Vice President of the Global Union of Scientists for Peace. Please welcome Dr. John Fagan. Respects to Shankaracharya ji and Maharaja. And thank you all for being here. It's a great honor. Today I'm going to speak on the Vedic Organi on Vedic organic agriculture, the key to empowering Indian farmers in the field uh, in, uh, to feed the nation and the world. Oops. Prime Minister Modi has defined the goals for Indian agriculture as improving productivity improving pro profitability, food security, and agricultural exports. The question is how to achieve these things. How to, uh, what system of agriculture is going to fulfill these goals? And it turns out that Prof uh, Prime Minister Modi recently made a statement that can be very helpful in guiding us as we explore this question said something very beautiful. He said, India's journey to prosperity can be a more sustainable and environmentally sensitive one than the path followed by countries that came of age in earlier eras. This is a journey of our choice, rooted in our tradition that worships nature's bounties. This is a good starting point for exploring this question. One alternative is the chemical industrial agricultural system, which uses fossil carbon-based inputs, intensified with novel technologies and land consolidation for efficiency of scale. The other alternative is Vedic organic agriculture, which uses renewable local inputs, is scalable from micro to mega farm scale, it integrates organic agriculture or agroecology with Vedic technologies. Let's explore each of these a little bit. We're all familiar with chemical agriculture and this picture really tells the whole story. What is organic agriculture? It's the, the most advanced scientific farming system. 
uses cutting edge biology, genetics, agronomy, soil science, entomology, and even the social sciences. It integrates traditional and regional agricultural knowledge. It's actually much more advanced scientifically than chemical agriculture. Vedic organic is the integration of organic with Vedic technologies. What is Vedic technology? Vedic technology transforms agriculture to what Maharshi called agree culture, agreeing with the culturing intelligence of natural law. That is what agriculture should be, is a system for agreeing with the culturing intelligence of natural law. This is unified field-based agriculture, most scientifically advanced even beyond organic agriculture. And at the same time, it's Atma-based agriculture, the most ancient and eternal system. So it spans the whole range of human existence in this way. Now, Vedic organic integrates specific Vedic technologies with organic. There are three classes of those. The first are those for the farmer, Transcendental Meditation and the TM City program. The second is Vedic recitation and yagya. And the third is the whole range of the rest of Vedic technologies, most importantly Jyotish and Ayurveda and Stipatyaveda and consciousness-based education. Let's look at the first two of these a little more closely. TM and the TM cities establish the farmer's awareness on the level of the unified field. It enables the farmer to operate in harmony with all of the laws of nature. Research, there's been extensive research, and you've seen some of that earlier today and yesterday, shows that farmers become more intelligent, more creative, more energetic and dynamic, resourceful, adaptable, effective and successful. A farmer in conventional chem chemical agriculture is the cog in a machine. But a Vedic farmer is one that operates out of love. Love for nature he cares and or she cares for the environment. Love for the, their family and their community and their nation. Feeding them, nourishing them. They produce nourishment not products. This is what the common modern uh, or, uh, farmer does. It just produces products. Now if we look at the other technology, Vedic recitation, it enables every aspect of the farm operation to agree with the culturing intelligence of natural law. The crop becomes what we call anapurna, food that embodies fullness wholeness, total natural law, food that nourishes every level of life, environment, body, mind, heart, consciousness, all levels. And we'll hear more about this later, but the, the technology also enlivens through, each, through very specific yajyas that take place at each phase of the development of the crop. When you plant the seeds, then when the, the first rain comes and the seeds swell, then when the plants first sprout, at each of eight different stages, there's another powerful yagya that creates wholeness within the crop, that makes it more powerful, makes it more nourishing to every level of the physiology. And that's what we actually see. We've, got, we've done research that actually shows that Vedic, for instance here, Vedic organic honey has higher levels of calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. More vitamin C, more vitamin E, vitamin A, and B1. All of these are more enhanced in Vedic organic and even higher antioxidant levels that protect the crop or protect the individual from harmful impacts from the environment. We've also looked at Vedic organic cucumbers grown in the Vedic organic greenhouses in Fairfield, Iowa. And there what we see is much higher levels of iron and vitamin C and vitamin E. All of this 
from the Vedic yagyas and from the farmers operating from that level of total natural law. So we've now seen the, uh, the, the understanding of the basics of chemical agriculture in Vedic organic. Now look, there, let's look at some of the relative benefits. And we'll start at the market level. It turns out that organic has been growing at double digit rate over the last 15, 18 years. And it's continuing to go that way. If we look at India, we see that there's a large and growing demand for organic and rapid growth faster than even globally, 20, 20 to 25% per year growth. And that growth is projected to continue for decades because the, the middle class of India, and it's the middle class that drives the interest in organic, is growing and is becoming more and more wealthy and more able to buy. Vedic technology is really the power for what Prime Minister Modi calls make in India. He's called on the whole nation to not to buy imports, but to make things here in India. And organic is an ideal example of that. Today, much of the organic products that are consumed in India are imports. What we propose is make in India for organic so that we replace those imports with premium Indian organic and that those products are exported around the world. Vedic technology is the key to this. Vedic technology in Western business terms is special, unique intellectual property for creating premium organic products and also premium products in every area of commerce. Vedic organic, in summary, is the only rapidly growing agri-food sector. It's highly profitable, resilient to economic and political shocks. It's low risk, large growth opportunity. And Vedic technology gives Vedic organic foods unique unparalleled high quality. This unique Indian intellectual property will enable India organic to take the global market by storm. We have such a powerful, precious thing in these Vedic technologies. They need to be applied in every area and they will be the strength and the foundation for India's growth and leadership in the world. Comparing to, to Vedic organic, chemical uh, agriculture has little growth, tiny margins, intensively competitive, highly volatile, vulnerable to economic and political shocks. So in summary, the choice is obvious. The choice is obvious. But there's always the question of, well, how about doing them both? But there are some considerations. There's risk of contamination of the organic by the nearby chemical agricultural operations. Toxic chemicals, GMOs, all sorts of other things. This reduces confidence in organic and makes it ne necessary for the farmers and the exporters to implement co costly segregation and testing. So the question is why weaken organic for the small opportunity that chemical ag represents. At minimum, we should avoid intensification with biotech crops. China has wisely taken this approach. And recognizing the value of this, of 100% organic, Bhutan and state, the states of Sikkim and Karnataka have gone 100% organic. And the states of Mizoram, Bihar, Odisha, uh, West Bengal and also the eastern part of Uttar Pradesh have all taken the same approach. So clearly organic is the best, has the market advantage and it's also agronomically very powerful. These are four studies done, each of, of them looking at a hundred projects or more showing that the yield with organic agroecology is from 80 to 200% greater than chemical agriculture. 
Here's another study showing the same thing. Higher incomes, lower expense, higher profits, better yields. In India also, here's one study with a 400% increase in yields with cost decreases of 60% and income improvement for in Indian farmers of 144%. The same with Indian organic cotton, lower production costs with organic, higher revenues, higher profits. One key issue that we must cover, and that is that chemical agriculture has a social disruptive effect. Large-scale land consolidation is essential to full-scale implementation. 55% of the Indian population are small-scale farmers. Consolidation would displace 90% of them, 90% of India's farmer majority. This translates into massive social disruption. Argentina did this. They paid off their IMF loans and ba World Bank loans, and a few people got rich. But the percent of the population below the poverty line rose from 15 to 40 47%. The farmer majority of India deserves better than this. They deserve Vedic organic, which nourishes the rural community. Vedic Organic enables each individual farmer to double or more their production on the land that they are already farming. They can double India's national agricultural productivity in three to five years with no social disruption, with low investment. It's just training, it's just knowledge that they need with huge increases in production and quality, fulfilling all of the economic goals that we have for agriculture in India. So we end with a proposal. The Honorable Union Agricultural Minister, Radha Mohan Singh, has already proposed a 10,000 village organic agroecology pilot project. We propose to integrate Vedic Organic into this demonstrate to create a demonstration project that can transform the nation. Here are the details, I won't cover those with you. Our goal is to convert India's farming majority into Vedic farmers. The result will be nourishing the nation, enlivening collective consciousness, enhancing the quality of community life, creating national invincibility. I invite any and all of you who have any inspiration in this direction, who have the ability to support this, this approach, this initiative, to work with us and to work with us directly in making this happen. Thank you and Jay Gurdjieff.